welcome to Allen Digital Classes. Today we are going to discuss a very important mechanism under haloalkanes and haloarenes. So let us begin our discussion. The reactions of haloalkanes can be broadly divided or categorized into the following categories. Nucleophilic substitution reaction, elimination reaction and reaction with metals. So today we are going to discuss about nucleophilic substitution reaction and more specifically a particular mechanism under nucleophilic substitution reaction. So let's discuss about nucleophilic substitution reaction. Rx plus Nu minus gives RNu plus X minus. What is Nu minus? The nucleophile. What is the nucleophile doing here? Nucleophile is acting as the attacking species. So when the attacking species is a nucleophile, it's known as nucleophilic. Now, can you see X being replaced by Nu? So it's known as a substitution reaction, but X is being replaced by Nu. Substitution brought about by an electron-rich species and that's known as a nucleophile. So hence, nucleophilic substitution reaction is what we are discussing right now and this is the general representation for a nucleophilic substitution reaction. Mechanism. The broader classification of mechanism here is basically SN1 and SN2. SN1 stands for Substitution Nucleophilic Unimolecular Reaction. I'll explain that in detail. Whereas SN2 stands for Substitution Nucleophilic Bimolecular Reaction. So what is this unimolecular and bimolecular? I'll explain when I explain the mechanism here. Here we begin our discussion right now with SN1 reaction. So we have Rx plus Nu minus gives Rnu and X minus. Yes, you saw that right now. But how does this reaction proceed? We will closely analyze here with the help of its mechanism. It's a two-step mechanism, students. So you'll see that in the first step. The Rx bond, because of difference in electronegativity, cleaves heterolytically. So Rx bond cleaves heterolytically into R plus and X minus. It's the slowest step. And did you notice one more thing here? The reaction is reversible. In case the carbocation stability is not enough to sustain the reaction in the forward direction. So here this reaction basically will be driven in the forward direction if the carbocation is stable, fine? So that's the slowest step of the reaction as well as rate determining step. Students, slowest step is always the rate determining step. Why? Unless and until the first hurdle is crossed, you cannot proceed with the final step. Also, you are making a neutral species convert into a charged ion. You're producing a carbocation, right? So that reaction or that step requires a lot of pains or energy or activation energy, right? That's the right term. Hence, the first step is slow and that will determine the rate of the reaction. Once the carbocation is formed, nucleophile will quickly attack there and the RNU product will be formed. So, remember an important point here, students, that carbocations, what we have learned earlier, recollect that it can be stabilized by various factors like shifts or rearrangement. So carbocation, whatever formed here, if there is a possibility, it has the ability to rearrange itself into a more stable carbocation anywhere else. If there is a probability or possibility, then only. Fine. Characteristics. It's basically a two-step reaction where the first step is the rate determining step of the reaction. Students, in the rate determining step, how many reactants or substrates are involved? Only one. So in the rate determining step, you have only the substrate or the alkyl halide involved here. 
Hence, it is a unimolecular reaction. The order of the reaction is determined with the help of number of reactant species present in the rate determining step. That is one here. So, it is a unimolecular reaction and hence the rate of reaction is directly proportional to the concentration of the alkyl halide. So, if I replace the proportionality sign, I get a constant which is called as the rate constant represented by small k here. Hence, it is a first order reaction. Why? Because the RDS contains only one reactant species. Hence, it is a first order reaction. SN1 here, 1 stands for its order. Fine. As you just now saw, since rate only depends upon the concentration of the substrate or the alkyl halide, it is independent of the concentration of the nucleophile. Nucleophile has no role to play in the sense that it has no role to play in the RDS, in the rate determining step, right? So, as I just now mentioned about the carbocation intermediate which is formed in the first step and if there is a possibility, it can rearrange itself into a more stable carbocation. Students, what kind of solvents favor SN1 is mentioned in the next point. If you have a polar protic solvent which can form hydrogen bonds easily, where the delta plus and delta minus are sufficient enough to bring about the heterolytic cleavage of Rx conveniently or easily, we will go for hence a polar protic solvent. Not only that, it will also stabilize the carbocation intermediate which will be formed. So, SN1 reactions are favored by polar protic solvents like water, alcohol, ammonia, etc. Helps in ionizing the bond. They are talking about the polar protic solvents characteristic and helps in stabilizing the charges. The carbocation will be stabilized by the polar protic solvent and greater the stability of the carbocation, greater the tendency for the forward reaction and hence greater the probability of formation of our desired product by SN1 pathway. Fine. So, we will look into its stereochemistry. Since a carbocation formed is sp2 hybridized, flat or planar, what happens is the nucleophile can attack from the front side leading to the formation of retention product, front side attack. It may also attack from the back side. And that will lead to the formation of inversion product. Basically, you will get a mixture of both. Out of which, there is a little more probability for the inversion product or the backside attack product. Because this X minus will be loitering around somewhere here. This X minus would be, we are assuming that after its complete split or departure, it would be loitering somewhere around here. So, the nucleophile may face electronic as well as steric repulsions electronic factors mainly. Steric because it is quite away from it. So, mainly electron electron repulsion between the nucleophile and the halide ion is more probable from the front side attack. And hence, what I generally conclude is though we get a mixture of these two products which are enantiomers in case R dash, R and R double dash, they are different from each other as shown here. Though we get this mixture of enantiomers, it is a little bit of inversion product which dominates over the retention product. Fine. So, let us have a look. How the carbocation is formed by heterolytic cleavage and since it is planar or sp2, it can be attacked from top as well as from bottom leading to the formation of a mixture of products of the retention plus the inversion product and resumization takes place. Basically, we expect partial racemization and the inversion product being slightly more than the retention product. Yes, we are having a look at it once again. The retention product from same side attack and as we have already seen, the inversion product from the back side attack. Now, Rate of this is very important point students from which the questions will be asked in NEET where SN1 reactivity is directly proportional to carbocation stability. 
greater the stability of the carbocations, greater will be the rate of SN1 reaction. So, 1 degree less than 2 degree less than 3 degree, this is allylic resin stabilized, whereas benzylic is most resin stabilized. This order of reactivity is directly proportional to the carbocation stability. Factors like resonance and hyperconjugation as well as plus I effect stabilizes the carbocation. Also, you will see that if the leaving group is different, then the rate is governed by the leaving group ability of the halide ion. Like Ri more than RBr, RBr more than RCl, RCl more than Rf because I is a better leaving group than Br, which is a better leaving group than Cl, which is a better leaving group than F. SN1 reaction does not take place in, let us see, which cases? Vinyl halide, aryl halide and wherever the halogen is attached to the bridgehead carbon. Now see, let us why, what is the reason reaction is not taking place. So we have, see there are these three lone pairs, fine. They are involved in resonance. So because of that what happens, the CX bond assumes partial double bond character, bond strength increases, right? It becomes difficult for the CX bond to cleave. So what happens here is CX. The easier is the cleavage of the CX bond because of size difference, electronegativity difference, leaving group ability, whatever you would like to say. The greater is the rate of SN1 reaction. I just now discussed Ri would be greater than RBr, RBr would be greater than RCl, RCl would be greater than Rf. So what happens is the CX bond becomes stronger due to resonance and it would be difficult to cleave the bond in these two cases. We understand here. This is the way, this is different from the previous cases. Suppose I take the 3 degree alkyl halide here. It's a perfect single bond which can be cleaved conveniently provided excess as much as possible F. No, F is a very poor leaving group. Leave F, C, L, B, R and I. So now what happens is a convenient stable 3 degree carbocation is formed which is stabilized by 9 hyperconjugating structures. But in the aryl and vinyl halides, the CX bond has partial double bond character, becomes difficult to cleave the bonds. Let's go to the last case. So, according to the Brett's rule, this position students, this one and this one, they are bridgehead positions. Bridgehead carbons are present and it is a non-planar molecule, okay. If we analyze it, if we draw it in a little different way, you will understand that, if I draw this in a little different way, you will understand that these are this one, this one, this one, they are like all non-planar positions. So these non-planar position students, you should not have a carbocation form which is essentially sp2 hybridized and hence planar. Carbocation is sp2 hybridized, carbocation is planar. So this position which is non-planar, a carbocation cannot be formed here. Hence, it cannot undergo SN1 reaction, otherwise we will be violating Brett's rule. A bridgehead carbocation cannot be formed is your breath slew and we cannot violate it and hence the last one cannot undergo SN1 reaction, okay? Okay, so a question for all of you. Compare the rate towards SN1 reaction. So you have CH3Cl, C2H5Cl, you have a 2 degree halide and you have a 3 degree halide here. On what basis students? The leaving group is the same, okay? And CL is a good enough leaving group, okay. We don't have any issues with CL, BR or I basically. I is the maximum followed by BR then CL and least is F. F is a poor leaving group. But we have a good leaving group here so we need not bother. Next what will we look into? Carbocation stability. Fine. So what we will see is that in the first case, 
the carbocation form this CH3 plus. Not, no stabilizing factor, nothing to stabilize it. The second one is stabilized by 1 plus I effect CH3 group and 3 hyperconjugating structures. We will look into this now. Remove the Cl plus. Sorry, remove the Cl minus. And see what is the carbocation formed. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You get here 5 hyperconjugating structures. By the way, I have already checked in all the options till now that no carbocation rearrangement is possible. So, CH3 plus, no stabilizing factors, 3 hyperconjugating structures are possible. Students, hyperconjugation is a stronger effect than plus I, so I am analyzing that. You have 5 hyperconjugating structures and students here, we just now saw, you have basically because this is CH3, CH3 and CH3, there are 9 hyperconjugating structures. And that's the reason on the basis of stability of the carbocation, the correct answer is A less than B, B less than C and C less than D. So this is the increasing order of the rate of reaction towards SN1 reaction or mechanism. Thank you everyone.